Question. Um, so you said the main secrecy for the five sets with the positive affect is the dopamine system. Yes. And I'm assuming that when you reach point B, it will be the opioid system. Um, no, it's the serotonin system in all likelihood. So serotonin seems, so the question was um, positive emotions mediated by dopamine um, when you're advancing towards something, say, or when you have a cue that something good is about to happen. What is the system that mediates positive emotion at the satiation level? And if I can add the negative aspect one. Yep. As well, what is the circuit for that? Yep, okay, okay. Well, let's start with the satiation issue. That seems mostly regulated by serotonin. The opiate issue is, there are other forms of specific reward that don't seem to be merely motivated or merely underpinned by dopamine. And the opiate system would be one of those. There's an oxytocin system as well. So there are other biochemical systems that are involved in more specific forms of reward. But the thing that's common among instances that make it appear that you're moving forward is the dopaminergic element roughly speaking. And then one of the things that happens if you're higher in serotonin because you're more dominant is that you're more satiated all the time. That's why people who are low in the dominance hierarchy with decreased levels of serotonin are more impulsive and also more emotionally dysregulated. They're more impulsive because hey, you take your positive thing when you can get it. And so they're, they're more dissatisfied. They're more looking for anything that will produce a positive outcome. And then they're also more likely to experience diffuse negative emotion, partly because their serotonin systems are lower, indicating their tenuous status in the dominance hierarchy, meaning that everything they do that's uncertain is far more dangerous. So this is also why it's very difficult often when you're trying to treat someone who's depressed, because you could say there's not much difference between being depressed and existing in the biochemical state that being at the bottom of the dominance hierarchy would produce. In fact, they're the same thing. Well, then the question is, are you depressed? Or are you just at the bottom of a dominance hierarchy? Because those are not, like the, the symptomatology is very, very similar. But the cause and the cure are not the same. You know, because you might be at the bottom of a dominance hierarchy because you're just, everything about your life is ruined. So, and of course you're suffering. Are you depressed? So, no, not exactly. You just have nowhere to go. So, 